Why couldn't George Washington get to sleep? Because he could not lie. Hi, I'm Ryan with the Neville Public Museum, and I'm excited to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look today at some of the artifacts we have in our collection that relate to our nation's presidents. Now, we're kind of a mid-sized museum in the Midwest, but considering that, we have a pretty ridiculous number of artifacts that relate to presidents, things going on out in Washington, D.C., and I'm excited to show those things to you today. Now, most of those things are not on permanent display. We bring them out for you know, shorter runs, but they normally live in our collections area. But at the end of the video, I'll show you one thing, possibly the most impressive thing actually, that you can come see in person that's on display right now. So let's take a look. So the first two artifacts that we're gonna look at are two framed letters, and you can see they look very similar. Uh, they were written by two of our early presidents, John Quincy Adams, who was the sixth president, and Thomas Jefferson, who was our third president. And oddly enough, both of these letters were both written to the same person. Uh, it was a man named Gilbert Stewart, who was a really famous portrait painter. And he painted one of the most famous pictures of George Washington, and that kind of got him started in the business. And he went on to paint portraits of many of our early founding fathers. Now, both of these letters are kind of just average business. There's nothing too groundbreaking. Um, in Jefferson's letter, somebody had asked him about borrowing the painting and Jefferson wrote this huge letter basically to say, yeah, I don't have it, sorry. Uh, the second letter, John Quincy Adams, his, he's basically saying, you know, a lot of people are trying to paint portraits of me. It's not like it was widely known what he looked like and, you know, people are painting these portraits and they don't really look like me, but it's fine, I guess. So that's what he's saying in his letter. And I should note as well, it's kind of interesting that John Quincy Adams and his father, John Adams, were the only two of our first 12 presidents who are not slave owners. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, kind of a complicated relationship with that. He did make some strides towards eliminating slavery, but of course uh, he was a slave owner, um, owned well over 500 slaves at one point during his life. Our next artifact is one of the rarest we have at the museum here. Now this photo of Abraham Lincoln and his son Tad is a pretty famous photo. It was actually on a postage stamp. Um, there are statues of this photo that are kind of recreated in stone that you can see across the country. But what makes this artifact particularly rare is that it is actually signed by President Lincoln. Our next artifact is actually part of a series and there was a looks like from what we can tell from our records, maybe a few siblings that work together to create this series. They track down signatures, so papers with sign real signatures of our first presidents and kind of cut them out and pasted them onto this series of uh, images. And then they donated this whole set to the museum back in the 1930s. So it starts with George Washington, goes in order. So they have every single president all the way up through the early 1900s. Um, but I chose one of my personal favorites, Teddy Roosevelt, to show you today. So we've got this picture and the real signature. And this is a really unique thing we have here at the museum. Unfortunately, it's one of those things we don't know a ton about it, but it's pretty cool. So here it is. All right, now as promised, our last artifact is one that you can actually come and see anytime. You can go on the museum's website to get our hours and learn about how to um, purchase tickets ahead of time and all that good stuff. And you can come in and see it in our new generations gallery. And it's part of our exhibit called Exposed Collections where I'm standing right now, which is kind of meant to mimic the feel you would get if you came to our storage area. But in this section, there are lots of drawers that you can open. And in this very drawer right here, we have a signed letter uh, from a very important and famous person to another very important and famous person. It is from George Washington to General Henry Knox. Now, the letter is kind of just some general housekeeping. It doesn't really say a whole lot of interesting things. It's not, you know, declaring war or making a major statement, but the fact that we have this piece of paper that was, you know, written on and touched and held by these two important historical figures that you can come see and be just, you know, a, a few fractions of an inch away from, I think is pretty cool. And it just shows how unique and great the collection at this museum really is. So thanks for watching our video. You can check out our YouTube page for more videos like this about all kinds of artifacts. And of course, go to the museum's website to learn more about our hours, 
um, how you can get information about purchasing tickets to come visit yourself. And lastly, of course, visit our social media pages like Facebook and Instagram. You can follow us there and you'll be the first to know about all the cool things going on here at the museum. So thanks very much and we'll see you next time.